What's up, everybody out there? Hey, this is Ben Noir. I'm here at Studio Noir, and uh, it's my pleasure to just bring you some joy of the ukulele. Um, the ukulele, it's from Hawaii. It has four strings. And uh, I'll go over these basics again. I just want to get this going. So um, if you have any friends out there with a ukulele at home that they don't know how to play it, please invite them. You know, we're going to be going over just really easy, simple basics. And I'm currently on zoom.us as well. And uh, the meeting is 966 091 8988. And the password is Benoit73 with a capital B. So if you want to be on Zoom where I could share files back and forth, uh, go to, go to zoom.us. You have to have the app. Hey, what's up, Karen? Is that Jamie's icon? I think I see her. Um, I'm starting up the Zoom meeting. I'm also broadcasting live on Facebook uh, to, uh, to do this doubly or in, in Dol Dolby, uh, as the great Nigel Tufnell would say. Um, <laughs> um, I'll be recording to the cloud um, with my Zoom and posting this. This is a basic ukulele lesson. Benoit, Studio Noir. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a 7.30 class where we go into more, uh, you know, intermediate, advanced level. But right now is, uh, you know, just uh, a basic ukulele thing. So I said earlier, again, ukulele, it's a Hawaiian instrument. This is a really nice kala. It's a tenor with koa wood. Um, I'll go over some of the physicals and history of the instrument. Um, I remember one of our first classes, actually, Jeff Allen, uh, my co-founder of the Ukulele Orchestra, shout out to Jeff. He, he brought in some sheets and, and it talked about the history of the, uh, the instrument coming from Hawaii. It was influenced by the Portuguese instrument, the cavaquinho, which um, the explorers came to Hawaii and they, uh, they saw this guy playing the cavaquinho and they, they kind of replicated this instrument. Um, the cavaquinho had four strings, uh, steel strings and uh, a wooden body. And uh, out of that came the ukulele after years. Um, so some of the other models, that, the ones you see a lot are these little ones. They're called the soprano ukulele. All right. And uh, I have my first Zoomers coming in. It's 527. I, as usual, I start up a little early. I get out of the gate a little early. This one is uh, also from the Kala brand. It's called the Waterman. The Waterman ukulele. And... Um, Hey, what's up? I have a new, um, a new person listening, uh, and, uh, how are you? And, uh, if you want, we could, uh, we could mute our microphones on the Zoom. If you oh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. How are you? This is I exciting. Hear you. Oh, I can hear you. <laughs> Not here. Can you hear me now? And I'm also streaming on Facebook Live at Benjamin.Metzger.com. This is going to be an interesting thing because it's my first time doing a, a double media platform. But, um, Goldia, can you hear me? Let's see. Uh, I'll be back. Okay. All right. Well, we had our first Zoomer uh, dropout, but anyway, I'm trying not to be too boring. So I'll be, um, I'm actually recording the meeting on Zoom and I'm also recording on Facebook. So back to the ukulele. This is a soprano. It's a pretty color. It's, um, it's called a waterman. The waterman is like, it's not waterproof, but you could basically drop it and it'll dry off. And you know, it's got this, the hardware, so it's steel, but, um, it's a really heavy duty, you know, you can smack it, you can bang it, kids, you know, you can drop it. I'm not going to throw it on the floor, but I'm not afraid to let it drop. And it sounds pretty good. We're going to be learning the ukulele has four strings. And like all the instruments that I teach, the one towards the floor is the number one string. All right. So we're going to learn how to identify the ukulele. And uh, the number one string is the one towards the floor. Hey everybody, what's up? I have some people uh, chiming in here on the Zoom. I'm also on live on Facebook. So 
basically, I'm talking about the physical uh, aspect of the ukulele and uh, how the number one string is the one towards the floor. So you have one, two, three, four. Hopefully you guys are already tuned up. How are you out there? Hi. Oh, the lighting is really bad. Oh, that's cool. So this is really exciting. I'm doing a double platform here. I've got two people out there. What's up? Now I see you. Can I hear you, Goldie? I don't know. Can you hear me? Oh, there we go. That's Abby. That's what that is. And Amanda, we've got Abby. This is really cool. And I got like five or six people on Facebook. They're probably going to be a little less amused now. I'm going to be talking to you Zoomers. <laughs> so anyway, I was talking... Is everybody tuned up? Can we play our instruments like... Good, good enough. I mean, you know, like as long as you're kind of in tune with yourself, I'm definitely 440. 440 is what we tune to in the, the musical world. Um, if you need help tuning, fine, but I think you're fine. And uh, I see some other people coming in. So um, we're talking about right now the history of the ukulele. It comes from Hawaii and uh, it has four strings. Now, like a guitar or other instruments, it has frets. These lines are called frets, okay? And our left hand, we're going to be using, uh, the thumb is behind the neck of the instrument. So we're going to call this one, like, where number one? This is two, and we have three, and we have four. The pinky is four, all right? So when we're dealing with chords and such, we're going to be playing, like, the first chord I'm going to teach you is C, all right? On the guitar, it's such a hard chord. Also on the piano, somewhat difficult. But on the ukulele, it's just... It's just your third finger on the third fret, okay? Now, now is that Abby playing her ukulele? Was that you, Abby? No? Okay, Amanda, play yours again. Good. And Janice? It sounds like you're kind of like down a half step. Uh, is that Gigi or Janice? <laughs> Gigi. Hi, Gigi. So... Hi. I want you to like, I'm going to mute everyone's microphone for a second, but I want you to retune. Like, do you have a tuner, Gigi, out there? No. Okay. All right. Let's do this. So watch. So when you're tuning the ukulele, you need to, um, you need to, you know, the, the string towards the floor, that's this tuning peg. Okay. This tuning peg here is towards the floor, the number one string. You're going to have to learn how to um, bring that up. You're, you've got a great ear as a singer, so you want to tighten it to get it up a half step. So why don't you shut your microphone off and try to just, um, you know, tune up a half step, Gigi, okay? Cool. All right, excellent. Um, again, uh, let's see. So, Amanda, is this your first time playing? So I taught myself a few years ago and I was able to play a couple of songs, but I haven't really touched it in a couple of years. Cool, cool. Okay, um, I'm going to share content to the screen. Um, let's see. I'm going to go to... I'm going to do a whiteboard, actually. Um, watch this. So we're going to... So how you read chords on the ukulele? You've got four strings. So I'm going to draw four lines. And for you out there, zoom.us, uh, the meeting number is 966-091-8988. And the password is benoir seven three that's my instagram it's a capital b ben war 73 all right so you guys see the c chord i'm drawing and then how i drew the three on the third fret here that's going to be the first string right down there okay the first, and that's going to be the third finger okay so the second chord i always teach is an a minor chord it's going to be on what what we call the fourth fourth string all right, so C and A minor, and boom, there you go, C and A minor, those are the first two chords, so here you're on Facebook land, C and A minor. Now with the ukulele, the ukulele, you could just, uh, you could just strum. Hey, what's up, what's that? So right now we're talking about C chord, Everybody know how to play a C chord? And an A minor. Uh, I don't know. We have this function like, uh, what, Seth? Who doesn't know? A minor? So second finger. This one. So with your fingers, number one finger, 
is your wear number one, okay? Number two is this one. You're gonna take your second finger, and we all we were talking about the strings are number one towards the floor, number two, number three, number four. So we're gonna put that second finger towards our face, second fret, that's the little silver line. I'm gonna make you big, let's see. Can I make you big? Yeah, I can. So, um, can I be big? I, I, yeah, in a second. So Seth, I got you. So put your second finger Instead, instead of your first finger, um, instead of your, use your second finger. So switch to the next finger, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, your second finger. Yeah, right there. Boom, right there. Put it up. All the way up towards your face. The number four string. There you go. Okay, cool. That's it, dude. All right, Amanda, you're back. I got you on my screen big. <laughs> Can you see me? This is really fun because it's my first time. I'm I'm live. I'm sorry, guys, out there on Facebook, but uh, you know, uh, come on into the chat. It's a little easier. I got to focus on the Zoomers, all right? Zoom.us. So right now we know C major and we know A minor, and the code is nine six six dash zero nine one dash eight nine eight eight, and the password is capital B Benoit seventy three. So it's just Benoit seventy three capital B. Okay. So we got C. Now, let's try just playing along. We're going to strum four times C. One, two, three, four. Now, there's different ways to strum. I like to use the tips of my fingers almost like a giant pick. Like, I kind of like have them all kind of like together and just lightly. You don't have to bang on the strings. You don't want to catch your finger on the, on the string towards your face. That's the number four. You don't want to like go, ow. You know, a lot of kids start playing and they're like, ow, right away. So you just want to tickle. You tickle them. You could also tickle with your thumb. Okay, you could tickle with your thumb. All right, so, you know, there's a lot of fun we could be having here. We could play C chord, A minor chord, C chord, A minor chord. from that um, we're gonna learn F chord now here we go I'm gonna go back to a screen where I'm gonna share some stuff here we go so um hmm let me see let me see watch this I can mirror my screen which means I think you will be seeing everything I do screen broadcast zoom start broadcast here we go I'm be I believe that you'll be able to see what I do so I'm going in here you guys see what I'm doing you see my little iPad out there? My big. I see the sheet music. Isn't that cool? All right, so I'm, cool. I'm gonna go over to ukulele chords. I have them written out already, and I could send you this file to anybody. Here we go. So how we read these chords? There's the C chord again. How it's written out right there. Okay. And uh, we're gonna, you know, sometimes there's just a dot in the middle of the page. And you know what's cool? I could actually use a pen while I'm doing this, I think. Yes, and annotate. So, um, like, see this dot I'm circling? So that is where, and it, look below it, it says what finger to play the dot with. So it says third finger, okay? So, again, with the guitar or the ukulele or a lot of other instruments, um, you've got your thumb, your first finger, your second, your third, and your pinky. So this is the LH. The left hand, this is the thumb, is number one, number two, number three, number four. So, good stuff, right? So we got the C major chord, everybody have that? And now we have a minor chord, which is going to be over here. Um, I'll make it big, A minor, there it is, okay? We're going to learn the next gateway chord to playing songs is F. It's just like A minor, but you add the first finger on the first fret of the second string. And 
why am I using this tiny, teeny, tiny ukulele? I don't know, because I just forgot. Um, I was also showing everybody the different size ukulele. So this is my nice tenor Kala. This is a soprano. It's tiny. Um, and you guys with the screen share, you're not seeing what I'm doing. So let me get back to you um, in my um, my share, my face uh, zoom here. Okay, screen broadcast. Stop it. I think go back to stop broadcast. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to you. Okay, cool. So this is my Kala uh, tenor. And it's actually an electric, and it also has a thick number four string. It has a low, thick sound. The ukulele usually has what's called the G string. It's like, my dog has fleas. You guys might have heard the my dog has fleas kind of a thing. Um, that's a very famous way of introducing people to the sound of the ukulele. Now, this is a more of a standard sound here. This is a concert size, I believe. It might even be a tenor, but a smaller tenor. A friend of mine, uh, I worked, worked for this one. Shout out to Jay Caruso. He gave me this ukulele for a lesson. It's a Leolani. It's a nice sound. And um, yeah, I like it a lot. So, so does everybody know how to play the C chord so far? Yay! Does everybody know how to play A minor? Nice. F chord is just adding. So when you're playing A minor, use your second finger instead of the first. You can use the first finger, but when you're playing with the second, it allows you to go to F easy. All right. And for guitar players, you'll notice some of these shapes, like that's the top of a C chord on a guitar. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later, how it relates to the guitar. Okay. So very good. Very good. So um, I have this sheet, an easy sheet. I can email to anybody who Facebook messages in me out there. And uh, if you want to get on this Zoom chat, it's 966-091-8988. And the password is Benoit with a capital B73. Uh, that's also my Instagram. Okay, cool. So um, the next, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to play the beginning of Stand By Me. It's one of our um, first songs that we like to do. So we're going to play C for about eight strokes with our thumbs is fine. And I'll count off. One, two, ready, go. C. A minor, here we go, A minor. A minor, very good everybody. To F, add the first finger. And right there, it's gonna go to a G chord eventually when we learn the G chord. So let's look at G chord, okay? So G chord, I call it the peace chord for guitar and the ukulele, because we're gonna use our peace finger, uh, peace fingers, okay? So I'm gonna put it up on the on the screen here. Um, ba, 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 ba. let's go to the whiteboard for this one and the G chord it's like a D major if you're a guitar player you would know the D the D shape okay it's actually slightly hard for some people the G chord but I think you guys are gonna get it so let's I think I, know, I, think I might know I think I I know I the G already because my dad taught me, um, from the Magic Dragon. Nice. Yep. All right, so you guys see what I'm writing there? The G chord there? All right, so I'm gonna show you what that was again. Yeah, you got it, Amanda. Let me see. Hey, Gigi, can I see your fingers when you're playing? Like, somehow? And uh, yeah, Abby's got it, and Seth, you got it. Cool, everybody out there, this is G chord in the Facebook land, okay? It's like this. I call it the peace chord. You put your first finger down there, second and third. Okay, cool. So that's gonna be a quick, it's gonna be hard to change to that, you know? Let's check everybody's tuning one more time. Gigi, let me hear your ukulele. It's uh, kind of really Just put, let me, yeah, let me see if I can change something. Go ahead. This, Play it one string at a time. Next one. 
That one's a little flat, so pull it up a little. Make it a little bit higher. Right there. Good, next string. You're a little flat again, so come up a little. Real quick, go ahead, pull it up a little. Good. Now next string, next string. Good enough, all right? So um, tuning, like here's a musical concept some people don't know, I'm gonna use my arm, okay? My arm's in the middle of the screen, okay? If you're flat, it's like a flat tire and you're lower than where you wanna be. If you're sharp, you're above the pitch, okay? So in that instance, two of her strings were a little bit lower, so you'd wanna tighten the string to raise the pitch, okay? It's a great concept for all instruments. I was tuning a violin today. It's all the same stuff, you know? All right, so um, I also have an easy song sheet that uses the uh, these chords, okay? So we, ha we have the C chord, the A minor, the F, and the G. Um, wow, time's flying by, it's like crazy. All right, so um, are you guys having fun out there? Um, we're gonna, we're gonna go to a simple song, You Can't Always Get What You Want by the Rolling Stones. It's one of the more simple songs, and then we're also gonna learn what I call the smushy D chord. It's a D major chord. You're gonna take your first finger, and look at this. I'm gonna smush my finger like that, so that the knuckle bends back like you're smushing, like you're pinching like that. Okay, watch this. Smushy D. You're gonna put second fret, you're gonna play from the A minor note on the second fret. So come up one more fret, Amanda. Yeah, yeah. Let me see you. Yeah, let me see you, Amanda. Go ahead. That's it. And smush your finger like that. And play all the strings. Good. And another thing I didn't talk about, hold that question, Seth, or statement, hold that, is holding the ukulele. You want to hold it against your body. I like to say, like a little baby, like you're holding a little baby, all right? You hold it against your chest if you can. I mean, some of us are uh, male and some of us are female, so we have anatomy to watch out for. But um, you could hold it lower. You could hold it against your belly. You could, you know, but in general, like with the neck up, like at an angle, okay? Because then it allows your hand to have all this freedom. If you're all the way down here, you're gonna cramp. You're gonna cramp up your hand and you, and you have, it'll be harder. Another thing is that everybody in the beginning wants to do this. Oh, I see the chord. And then when they're reaching over, they're having a hard time. So anyway, back to Smushy D. Here it is. Like that. Yes, perfect. Beautiful. And I always used to teach that first. Um, so he, what, what our other student was saying is, um, you know, the other fingering is this. It's like an A major chord on the guitar. All right, smooshy D. So, very good, very good. I'm going to go over to the um, whiteboard. So watch this. There's two Ds. Well, actually, there's three different Ds that I like to teach. There's these. This is all D major. I'll draw another one. So I'm gonna have my, basically they're all gonna have these three dots here, okay? But they're gonna be played differently. The smushy D is like this, just one, one, one. And you have the open, if you see a zero, it means open string. Then you have the one that Seth just mentioned where you play one, two, three fingers like that, okay? The one, two, three fingers. Then you have one I call, um, is the big D I call it. And you're gonna have your pinky play this one. You're gonna play one, one, one. You're gonna, you're gonna play with your first finger, but then you're also gonna have your pinky like this. So I will demonstrate each one. So the first one is the smushy D, we call it, where you where you play like that. Shout out to Joe Michio, he loves this one. 
Okay, then also the fingering like this. Okay, same one that Seth just said. Now we have, this is the one I often teach people. Um, now you don't necessarily keep your fingers behind, I'm just showing you that visually. You usually just relax your fingers, okay? Now you have to get used to barring. So barring, barring is, try to bar the entire second fret. Now to create a bar, a good bar, you need to make your hand like a capo. Do you, got, you guys know what a capo is? I'm gonna go grab a guitar capo. So this is a capo for ukulele, and this is a capo for guitar, okay? Capo, all right? So what happens is you want to create a bar for your finger that looks like a capo. See, my hand's like that. It looks almost like a capo. If I put the capo up like this, um, like that, and I was about to put it on, so I'm, I'm creating that with my thumb, like that. So, like that. Capo style, all right? The thumb is behind. You don't wanna just try barring without the thumb. Um, anyway, so when you play with your pinky on the five, you get the big D sound. Now, that is a movable major chord. And here's C. Now, if I played, if I played C with the pinky, and then pretended to bar, that's what we're doing. We're, we're creating a, a, a new, it's called, this is called the nut, the nut of the instrument. So we're creating a new nut by barring. So good, yeah, try out some, some of those chromaticisms if you want, all right? So the reason that we're learning D is because we're about to play. You can't always get what you want, which is what's happening right now, right? You want to go outside, you want to do stuff, you want to be with your friends and go to work and all that in school. So here we go. We're going to be um, playing You Can't Always Get What You Want. And the chorus goes like this. It goes, you C chord, you can't always get F chord, what you want. C chord, you can't always get what you F chord want. Big smushy D or whatever D. But if you try sometimes to F, you might find. Back to C, you get what you need. F. C. Nice. I'm fooling around with all sorts of stuff here. Um, nice. So um, that was great, guys. You sound great out there. We're playing along in the internet world. It's pretty awesome. Um, so what else, what else can I leave you with? Any questions? Let's do questions. How about we'll start left to right? Abby, any questions? No, we're pretty good. Seth? Gigi, you have any questions? No. All right, cool. Um, another fun, easy thing I'll show everybody, and then I'll stop this broadcast. And then 7.30, I'm going to do a live, like a more intermediate, advanced type of thing. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do some guitar technique finger picking on the ukulele. And there's a really cool book that one of our people brought in. It's called um, Arpeggio Meditations for Ukulele by Daniel Ward. Uh, my friend Thomas, who comes a lot, brought this in one time, and it's got some great stuff. Because of copyright, I'm not going to photocopy and send it out, but I just wanted to recommend it. Now, I'm going to show you this classical thing. What you're going to do is you want to set up your hand so that your thumb is on the fourth string, and every finger gets a string after that, all right? So it's four, three, 
two, one. Four, three, two, one. And you're gonna go down, up, up, up. This is a classical finger style guitar thing. All right. So let me uh, see what's going on with each of you. Abby, how's it going? Let me see you play it. Can you hold up your ukulele? Nice. So what you want to do is bring your thumb in front. Yeah, and your other fingers in back, like so it's like that more. Um, yeah. Now, like, yeah. You want to set them up before you even start playing. You want to set them up. I, I think of it as an angle towards the end of this uh, the bridge when I'm setting up my classical finger style technique. Yeah, that's better, Abby. Okay, I'm moving over to Seth. Seth, let me see you. Yeah, you look pretty good there. Let me hear you. Now, if you hold the, the, the ukulele up at an angle a little, a little more up, yeah, it, you'll relax your right hand. Your your hand will be... If you're like this, again, it's like harder to play. So if you're like that, it's better. And Gigi, let me see what you're doing. Good. Try to exaggerate your thumb in front. Exaggerate the thumb. Yeah. Good, so you could pick, I'm gonna show you what you could do on C to F chords, okay? You can be like. All right, you know, of course you can do it faster. You can also do different patterns and stuff like that, but we can do that next lesson. So um, I'm going to end by saying thank you to all, all of my friends out there who tuned in. And, um, you know, like it's great to see you. Some of you guys I haven't seen in so long. And uh, what a crazy time we're living in. But we're going to get through it. And um, we'll all be better musicians and people, I think, at the end of this. So... You know, <laughs> so studio noir dot rocks is the new website or it's been around for a while. Instagram studio noir LBNY. Um, we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers on YouTube and I'll be posting videos like this and other things for guitar, piano, ukulele for free. And you could also Venmo us uh, if you want to tip us. You don't have to. This is really just me having fun, but we also accept donations. And that's Ben dash Metzger dash eight that's venmo and paypal is our studio noir lbny at gmail.com and that's pretty much it i'm sending all my love and and healing powers out to everybody and uh you know say hi to your moms and dads and sisters and uh the youtube is youtube.com slash c that means channel studio noir uh, again, youtube.com slash C slash Studio Noir. Yeah, we're trying to get a thousand subscribers so we could live stream to that format. And it won't be so complicated for people to be all in Zoom and Facebook and all this stuff. Um, although it's been working out. Wait, so you can live stream to the what format? Oh, on YouTube. We're looking forward to that in the future if we can get a thousand subscribers. Uh, that's what we're hoping to Wait, do. But the what format? Oh, just youtube.com, you know, live on YouTube so so Seth it's great to see you again it's so awesome and Gigi and Abby and I got my Facebook people some of them logged on some of them logged off you know I'm sure it was a little bit boring to see me staring at an iPad but um, <laughs> not boring for me you know um, so uh, Studio Noir we're doing good and um, the next lesson's at 7.30. If you want to log in there, you can. And maybe you'll you'll pick it right up. I'll probably send some files out. And you could, um, you know, just rec recommend it through here. So, all right. So, thanks a lot, everybody. Okay? Bye, guys. I'll see you Again. soon. Bye. Bye, guys out there.